Here we go. We'll start by importing the medias that we're going to use for this project. And remember that I recommend that you store all of the media that you use for a project in one folder and to store that on drive D. If you store it in your My Documents or My Videos, you're going to likely run into storage limitation problems and it's going to lead to your machine crashing and potentially other problems. So do it on drive D. It will work if you run it from a USB key, but it's going to be much slower and you'll find it kind of frustrating in the long run. So drive D is the way to go if you can help it. So let's click on this icon here in the middle and it's already been to the folder where I want to go to but you would navigate to drive D. Uh, there's the folder local news project. Open it up. Here's the media elements that I want to use. In this case it's all of them. So control A will select them all and then click on the open button and it will bring them in one at a time. There we are. Now by default they're all selected. You can see that because they're all in red underscore in the bottom part of the thumbnail and, and that's really going to cause us problems if we try to drag them all in. So to deselect them we're going to click anywhere outside of any one of these clips. So I'm going to just click over here and now they all turn blue, which is what I want. Alright, so let's build the first scene. That will be the news anchor sitting at her anchor desk in the news studio. And you build those kind of composite frames or scenes from the back to the front. And so in this case the movie studio set will be our first uh, track and then followed by V1, which is video clip 1, with the news anchor and I'll put her into track 2. Now that's a green screen element and you can see that uh, it's the desk and the background in green. We want to remove that color and so we'll, per, uh, we'll um, perform a chroma key removal and, and that seems difficult but it's really not. So click on that second track and then actually it will double click on it. That's probably the easiest way. You can do a right click as well but double click will open up the properties window on the top left hand side here. Click on the advance button and then effect and now click that box that says make parts of this clip transparent. There she is. Now sometimes you have to change the default color and that's using the ink dropper but in this case it works perfectly it knows that we want it to be green. You may have to adjust the intensity level you can see just here in the right hand side there is a little bit of wrinkles in the green screen so you might have to brighten it up a little bit but that's just sort of a, mm, a, a, a feel good kind of setting there's no hard and fast number let's say about over here We'll choose OK and there she is floating in midair but we'll fix that in a moment. So we'll choose OK and then um, let's size that down a little bit. You can see that with this second track selected we have the nodes around the perimeter of that uh, news or of that video element and we're going to go and resize her down and reposition her to be, well, I think it's roughly over here. We might have to do a little bit of adjustment later on. But let's bring in the desk, and that's here. So I'll bring that onto track three. There it is. Move it down a little bit. And let's do the same kind of uh, chroma key effect or the green screen effect by double clicking on that track, track three. Choose advanced effect make parts of the clip transparent. You can see here it's going to make it black. Well that's not what we want. I think it must be picking up the first color on the top part of the screen which in this case is black. But That's not what we want. So we'll have to choose this checkbox and then move your mouse to the green area that we want to remove and you can see what looks to be like an ink dropper or an eye dropper and that's exactly what it is. We're telling uh, Filmora to suck up a little bit of that green mm, pen
paint as it were and use that to go transparent. So I'll click on that. Oh, sure enough, it, it removes that. But you can see a little bit of a line there. So I'm going to change the intensity so that it blends in a little bit nicer. So at about 15, I'll choose OK. That's much better. And then maybe bring that a bit forward. Uh, this girl is way too big, so I'll click on that um, image again, reduce the size of her, rearrange where she is. Aha! That's looking better. So now her hands are on the top of the desk, not too high, about over here. That's not bad. Maybe it will make the desk a little bit larger. Bring it down a little bit. This is sort of just um, personal preference and artistic um, vision, I suppose. That's not bad. So I'm going to choose OK. Now you can see here in track 2, the length of track 2 is much longer than track 1 and track 2. So if I start playing this video uh, over here, the you'll, Bernie Wolf News Brief you'll for see Thursday, that January the 12th. Yeah, you'll see that those things disappear. And so to fix that problem, all we do is click on that track 1 and then click hold and drag it out to be the same length as the news girl and the same for the news desk. Click hold, drag it out to the very end, uh, just there. So now, I'm just going to save this so I don't um, lose any, just in case there's a problem. So we'll put that into our local news project and it's actually there already. I'm just going to save it over top of itself. Okay, so let's uh, move that playhead back to the very beginning and see how that looks. Our reporting team has more top stories to keep you in... Perfect. Okay, so now I'm ready for the next element, which is the spinning globe and the title and the uh, triumphant music that goes along with that. And I'll get to that in a moment. Okay, so let's add our title, and that's done in the third icon here on the ribbon bar. So I'll click on that, and I, I was playing around with before this uh, recording happened, so it was on the right um, screen setting, but you may not have yours on that area too. So let me just show you how I did that. So I clicked on the text and credit um, uh, ribbon bar item, and then the, the, the effect that I want is hidden in the media uh, expansion area. So if I click on that, it'll expand. And now I want the news one that has 69 items. And if I scroll down a little bit, the one that I like to use here is this um, fourth globe. There's different colors, whichever suits your fancy is fine. And I'll click hold and drag it to the first part of this video and it will automatically push the other stuff over for me. Oh, see, there you go, I promised. And, and so now if I press play, I get the spinning globe. There's no fantastic music and it's this generic breaking news thing. We'll, we'll want to add the music and add some appropriate text. Hello, welcome to the... Okay, so that's not bad. Let me just save this. Okay, and we'll go back to our media and we'll add in our music. And it's amazing how much nicer the whole thing sounds with that music to go along with the spinning globe. So I'll drag that piece that I found on a free sound effects site. And if I play that now, I think you'll agree it makes a big, big difference. Oh man, I love this. Okay, well, they got my attention. Help. And I want to add a, just a little bit to offset this awkward silence in the beginning. I could cut that out, but I, I'd like to actually put a little background music at this point just to uh, have something play in the background. That's the, the item that I found here. If I play this for you, that sort of sounds news like, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm going to put that into this track. Oh, gosh. 
in the second audio track but it's a little bit too loud. If I play it now... Hello, welcome to the Bernie Wolf News. You see it's uh, competing too much with my talent there. So what I'm going to do is double click on that uh, element, that uh, background music. So if I double click on it, the properties window will show up here and I'll just change the volume to be about, well, about a quarter of what it would normally this number here is um, the, the percentage, I believe. So we'll click OK. And now let's see how this works. Oh, yeah. Hello. Welcome to the Bernie Wolf much better. News so Brief for Thursday, You can still January hear it, but it's I'm very Ella, much in the six. background. Our reporting. OK. Now let's save that one more time. And then I'm going to add one more uh, graphic piece from my titling era, uh, area just to give some credit to this girl so that we know who she is and that's again in the news area and if I scroll up uh, which is the one that I like there are so many that you tend to lose track oh yes this is it so it's sort of um, they call it a lower third so it's in the lower third of the screen and if I play it now I think you can see what's going to go on. You see, it sort of slides in and Hello. it tells you. Welcome to the Bernie <coughs> Wolf News Brief for Thursday, January. Now, you might notice that as we add these things, her mouth and the sound don't quite sync up. Don't worry about that. When the rendering actually happens at the very end of the process, that will all work out just fine. Right now, it might look a little bit odd. Okay, let me just save this one more time and then make some adjustments to the text. To customize any of the titling that comes from Filmora, you perform that same operation we did on the volume. We simply find the element here in the text track, that's the um, third from the bottom in this case. If we double click on it, the property windows for that text will show up here in the top left hand corner. And you can see that it also shows up in the preview window with that familiar um, text box kind of look. And so if we um, change that to being like news anchor, is that spelt right? Let's just pretend that's spelt right. Uh, and and um, sometimes it's a little bit tricky because these two text boxes might overlap and so sometimes you actually have to move them apart so that you can get access to the one that you really want. So again we could click on OK and if we double click on it this time we get the top one. It's a little bit tricky. Sometimes I double click to get into this edit area and then click on the actual text box to make the change that for the text box that I want to use. So I want to change this from news brief to being Ella. I think her name is Ella from grade six. Let's see. All right. Then bring that text box back to where I think it belongs. And now we'll click on OK bring it back to the beginning of this segment and let's see the whole thing. Hello, welcome to the Bernie Wolf okay, She's News not moving her Thursday, mouth, but January believe me, it'll sync up. I'm Ella from grade six. Our report... Okay, her name was Ella, that's great. I'm gonna save this again. And, and so you can see how we're basically creating this whole composite one component at a time and, and it's looking pretty good now. And so you would just go to the very uh, end of this segment. Oh, now you can see that uh, the soundtrack for that background music doesn't go right to the end of Ella's introduction. You know what, that's okay. We're gonna go to the end of where she is. And then we would bring in the second um, uh, video segment which is the roving news reporter from Portage in Maine. So let's do that uh, in a moment. I'm just going to save this one last time. Oh no, it's already been saved. And then I'll bring in that video too. 
And in this case, the, the background will be Portage and Main. So I'll bring that in. Okay, there we are. And then I'll bring in our roving reporter into track two. There she is. I'll double click on that track to get into the properties menu or window. Here it is in the top left. We'll click on the advanced button and then Effect, make parts of the clip transparent. There she is. Maybe if change the intensity level, but uh, maybe not in this case. Hey, that's perfect. I'll maybe just bring her down just a tad, but I'll keep her at that size. I sort of like that size. And now if we click on OK and click Play. Thanks, Ella. Mayor Bryant. Brian? Okay. So she can't talk very well, but she's doing the part. We don't really care about the content here. And you can see if we scroll across, in this case, the, the track for the background is a little bit longer than the uh, roving reporter. So I'll have to change that to be a little bit shorter. So now it should match up. Perfect. Okay. And so um, we'll just go ahead and save that. And I would build the the next part where I have uh, the anchor going back on and then she goes to some guy at the concert hall and then back to the anchor and then that's the, the rest of the movie. I'll do that offline and then do the final step which is the rendering portion of the project. Okay, I think I'm ready to go here. So just uh, let's review before I do the final piece of it, the different components that I have. I start here on the uh, first little segment with the spinning globe and the triumphant um, music line. And then I have the studio and the anchor introducing. She then puts it over to Portage and Main, back to the anchor, and then to the concert hall. And then let me just scroll over a little bit. Well, yes, there it is then back, back to the anchor who then concludes the, uh, the whole production. And so let's just uh, show the first little bit. I didn't actually show you the text for that opener, but here we go. So the spinning globe, the news, and, and this part I did change from the default. And all I did again was I clicked on the text in that text track to get to the properties for it. And you can see all I did was put a second line. I changed the size of the font for this one to 24 point and made this one 56 point. I repositioned it so it was in the center. It looks great. Let's go back. Hey, there's Ella. Hello, welcome to the Bernie Wolf okay. News. So I'm ready to go. So let's uh, save it one last time. I think I already did that. And then the export process is the final stage of it. And that takes a little bit more time for the machine to render, depending on how long the video is. But I'll click on the export icon here on the ribbon. And uh, we want to make it into an MP4 and make the name uh, Bernie Wolf News Brief or whatever you want to call it and make sure that the location where you save that is in the same folder where you have all your media. So in this PC, Drive D and Local News Project, choose OK. Yeah, so D, Local News, that's what I want. We want the resolution to be HD, so that's 1080p, there it is. It's uh, 3 minutes and 27 seconds and will be about 212 megabytes. Okay, that seems large, but that's the, just the way it is. It isn't that bad, actually. We'll choose Export, and then just let it run. So it's going to take some time, and literally, frame by frame, 30 frames per second, it's going to go and create an MP4 uh, video format of this uh, video. Once it's finished, I'm not going to bore you with watching the whole rendering. It's going to take some time. But when it's finished, then we'll show you um, the finished file that it's created. 
Okay, well it finally finished rendering. That took probably 20 minutes. And it seems incredibly long, but you have to remember that it's building each frame in the 30 frames per second, one at a time. So it's understandable. Uh, you can find the f completed MP4 by, we'll just close that and close this down. And then going to our um, file explorer, we can go into drive D. Let's just bring that to monitor one. So drive D and then the local news project. Ah, there it is. So it looks like it's a Windows Media Player element. These are the other video clips. This one is completely different. It, you can see that uh, spinning globe thing is there. When I double click to open it, it'll actually open Windows Media Player and begin playing the actual clip. It looks like a million bucks, honestly. There's Ella. Hey, there's her thing. Hello. And Welcome look at her voice is in sync with her mouse Thursday, mouth. January uh, it's exactly as I promised you. I'm Ella from grade six. And so that's the file that you can then copy and upload to YouTube or to wherever you want to share that with your audience. Okay, so that's all of that project. I'll see if I can't do one more yet, but that's enough for this one. Congratulations.